Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to very quickly create floor plans using Visual Buildings Project Wizard. This is a feature of all Visual Buildings. So click on New Project and we can select that we're going to work in meters and a scale and then the building shape. Select a simple rectangle building. Next we can now select the actual uh, dimensions of the building, whether it's external or internal dimensions. So we're going to use internal dimensions. And we're going to say our length is going to be 14 and our L2 distance is going to be, let's say that's 9. And our wall thickness is going to be 3. We can place our building in the center of our worksheet and zoom in. And the first thing we can do is change the style of our walls. Now we're using a hatching style here, so to change that to a solid color, we click on the 2D display and select, um, let's have dark gray. Some monochrome color, and there's our wall color. We can now select that wall and transfer the properties of that wall to our other four walls. We just select the layer construction, and we're going to do this manually so we can actually say every wall I click on. So I can actually um, click on just the walls I want to change the colour of. Right click, uh, complete and all my walls are now changed to that colour. Um, I now can use my non-supporting wall and that's got a thickness of 10 and I can use my tool here to define or ensure that my walls are parallel so I can actually click on my reference point and say I want this to be 4 meters and you'll find that that distance from there to there is exactly 4 meters. I draw the wall and then select Control W to set the reference point of that wall and I can actually um, do the same here. Place my wall three meters. The same here. Three meters. can place another wall here So there are my rooms. I can now um, place my doors and windows in here. I can select from a catalog of doors and windows. But I just drag my doors in here. So it's not a very well designed house, but uh, put a door there. door there, a door there, a door there, and I can change the 
direction of openings and the hinge size just by clicking on the um, by clicking on the door and saying change opening direction same here change open direction and hinge The arrow indicates the opening direction. And it's possible to place the windows precisely. But for a floor plan of this nature, that's not important. And we can then label our room you've got full control of the the fonts and the the color Finally, let's make that a bedroom. And then we can dimension our floors. We have the choice we can put the dimensions outside of the plan or inside the plan. dimension sizes can be changed as well and everything you can do you can always undo you can change the tolerance so we can get rid of the 's beauty of this of course is that whilst we've been concentrating on just producing a 2d plan in the background the computer creates a 3d plan so you can actually let's have a look at both views zoom that in so there's the 3d model of our 2d building now the plans can be exported as um, bitmaps, PNG, um, PDF and the quality is exceptional so you've got um, consistency of uh, coloured walls, sizes and um, it's one way to make sure your floor plans are up to the quality of the rest of your website or brochure. Thank you very much.